End of eternity! I wonder why they call it Resonance of Fate. It's a really weird title change. Hello, Ice Claw. So, I've been delaying a certain quest long enough. Let's go do a fucking escort mission. I believe our map says... Meet him in the open air studio. So we got a walk to go. Take the target, kill, repeat. Ah, these guys are just outside my pay grade right now. I'm not feeling them. Later. Running away with my tail between my legs isn't really my thing. Frequencies. I just watched the first part of that while late night working. Uh, that. Oh, you mean last night's stream? Where the fuck was the... Oh, I took the wrong elevator. Fuck. Okay, hang on. It's hard navigating this weird... Oh, fuck. Poor unlucky bastards. Eh, I'm just gonna not. We'll see who has the last laugh. Us, because we're saving bullets. This fight, though. Come on, I can do this. Hmm. Man, there's a lot of them. Three shotgun boys can't stop me. All right, so I need to kill these two guys. See if we could get uh dang it. Yeah, let's see if we could get a try attack going. You want some of this? Here goes. I'm working here. <clears throat> I can reach your every I mean, that was pretty cool. Man, if I got shotguns in this game, it'd be fucking dope. Oh, did I do a two for one? Just I think I got a two for one. I thought you were the bad guy. Look who's talking. And we kind of got miniguns. We have an SMG. The SMG is really helpful. Stage video of someone using a shotgun. Put up a better fight than the last bunch. It was probably an enemy. So an interesting note. I've been watching a. Uh, I've been watching the Time Warriors as a LP of Neo, and there's an enemy in that game called the Dweller, and I feel like the Dwellist is a uh, an homage to that. Not for Neo, but because I'm pretty sure. A dweller is a Japanese mythology thing, 
And this guy is like paying homage to that. Just keep getting scratch damage full, sure. Alright, oh, leader assault. Forgot about like that. A bug. Squish. Should have gone for the dog first. Saw the first trailer from 2008. Uh, it was probably a bull shot that you saw. Oh, nice. I could just leave. Later, fuckers. We'll see you as the last bye bye. Left. Now a fight we actually have to do, and probably scaled towards us. Or unlucky bastards. Or not. from these kills. No! Give me money! Oh wow, double smackdown, sure. Oh damn it. I wasted that try attack opportunity. I keep fucking those up. everything I can to delay the inevitable because I really don't want to deal with the next mission I have no real way of dealing with this I mean I guess this oh well we got a reward at least nice Let me just... come on. No, they're not gonna let me do that. But I'll take more grenades, sure. Okay, so this is how try attack works. All right, I'm starting to get a handle on this. I can reach your every move. <laughs> the only problem is you got to make a wide triangle and not like one of those, like, uh, what's not like a thin ass triangle, which is what I've been doing for a while. No point in doing that, but I just wanted to do that. I'm just happy to be keeping up.
Though I wonder if the best way to do combat is two SMGs and a single pistol user. Poor unlucky bastards. Oh, that's why. Okay. I was wondering why I haven't been doing that before, and I now know. Oh, what? Something exploded, and I don't know what. Oh, damn it. Fucked it up. I think it's the starting position that fucks with me. I don't think you're supposed to be doing a uh, try attacks up until like second or third part of the round. This is climbing a stairway that never ends. A stairway to heaven, as it were. All right, that's all the fake fights out. Let's uh, let's fucking do this, I guess. Oh boy, do I not want to do this. Because this blows. No. Mm. It won't take much to beat these into submission. Uh, well. It's a leader of salt, so we can just fucking go. Wow, that chainsaw's got some fucking reach. Dead. Stop messing around. If you're gonna bring it, bring it. Also, look at all those items. Fighting those mannequins, mannequins are generally worth it, it seems. Is the sculpture? Spoke very highly of you. I'm looking forward to working together. Jean Paulet, at your service. Oh, it's you, the model for my statue. I knew it. This guy it loves to pose. It's kind of great. Also, wow, that statue's amazing. He's sublime. I'm glad to hear you like it, Cardinal Garigliano has given us lowly mortals a glimpse of the divine. There's a stick of t but TNT so in there. Charming, as a true goddess should be, Nespar? Oh, I think oh, she God was ready God. to, like, I'm slap the fuck out of, of him. Knowing such... Also, I know this voice actor. I know this voice actor, but where? Now, if you don't mind, I'll leave you to see the transport of the statue. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, one thing before you go. What might that be? <laughs> just... Just what's going on inside of this thing? Oh, you have a discerning eye, mon ami. Why what? Are you, you fuckers talking yourself? about? Eh? Don't mind if I do. Drop kick. I don't think so! Yeah! <laughs> wow! What's so special Get fucked! About anyway? It inspires him. Tell him you should be honored. I still don't get it. God above! My God, oh. If believing in something makes him happy, who's it hurt? That's actually a really good point, okay, Gun so Dad. Where does that leave people who don't believe? <sighs> Faith brings order. Order brings stability. There's something to be said for that. Hmm. 
Oh my god, Jean Palais is voiced by Sam Regal. That's great. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking about society in general. What I believe. Maybe I'm beyond salvation. Hey, what the fuck, dude? So we have to escort that across an entire dungeon. Defend the idol from enemy attacks to ensure it's safe arrival. If its HP is zero, the mission is a failure. You cannot abandon the idol if you exit the area. Ah. Oh boy. This is gonna suck ass. What's with the cart? More work, I'm guessing. We have to protect the lovely Leanne. Even if it means our lives. Yeah, what about when she's not so lovely? Not to worry. She's always lovely when she's working. Should I be worried? No need for worry when you're with us, sweet cakes. It's official. I'm worried. You want some of ah, damn it. The thing is already taking damage. Oh, damn it. This mission sucks tremendous dick for a reason. This mission made me quit the game entirely. Yeah! Yeah, it sure sucks nuts, doesn't it? This mission is fucking terrible. on that full scratch. There's no way to manage aggro. If there is, I don't know it. Also, the thing moves up. Ah, oh, really? Mmm, I hate you. I hate you, cart. Oh right, I forgot. If you stand still, time time doesn't advance. So I gotta do the idiot dance here. So we have four more tiles to go, and we have relatively full HP. More enemies over there. All right, it looks like you're finally learning how to handle that gun. God, you're so mean to her. Fuck off. Damn it. 
I love the ridiculous fucking air dodges that Leanne does. Also, look at where all of our HP went. I was afraid of, uh, I was afraid of using a uh, hero mode meter for that, but it's fine. Yeah, Zephyr's got kind of a big mouth on him, so that's gonna happen a lot. Truth be told, I still don't get how the game works. I could do some arena after this and we could do like a full tutorial thing. But the long and short of it is, um... When I'm running, I'm using Hero Gauge to move to use a Hero Run. By doing that, I'm able to do multiple attacks. Um, Vashron has the SMG. He exists to strip armor off enemies. Everybody else has hand pistols, which turns all that scratch damage into full damage. And it's all presented in a uh, idiotic ways. Some odd tastes? Quiet. You want to be struck down from above? The client is always right. This is where it gets fucking raw, that's right. I forgot about all of that. Looks like it got lucky with the barrels, though. Even then, though, shit. Ah, god damn it! Bash you, fucker. I might be able to brute force this, but I don't know if that statue is gonna survive. There we go. Ah, oh, the stash is doing fine. Is that like two thirds health? The triple. I don't know if the triple attacks would help here. Because the entire point of this is. Well, hmm. I don't know. It's hard to say just because, like. The main point of this mission is to not murder everything, it's to protect. I also hate how I have to move, or else reality stops with the end. Also, can we see what that driver's license says? Uh, nothing interesting. It's like BR five five zero six. Uh, only two rooms, B man, because the last room is always a cutscene. Well, a uh, story centric area, so we just need to do two more fights. Uh... Keep an eye out behind us too. Okay, I'm on it. This is where it gets a little tricky. Cause now I don't have fucking explosive barrels to do me justice. Oh, fuck.
Man, I am not hitting that guy at all. Fuck. I think that's what, I think that was the big problem here, and that these guys do not get hit at all. Oh god, that health. Ugh. Which one of you fucks is low on HP? I think technically it's you. And I hate technically for this fight. At this point, I'm just hoping for a full scratch. The other. Leanne needs the SMG after this as well. Okay. One fourth health. Also, her fucking dumps. Oh, mmm. Not cool game. I just wanted the treasure chest, god damn it. Ooh, nice high mount sight. I hmm. You cannot first aid the statue. Um, in order to heal the statue, you gotta use a uh, restart and restore full he hero gauge. I like it when it gets messy. Well, at least they made this last one easy for us. There. Delightful. Catharsis, and with HP to spare. I love it when a plan comes together. I remember that being way harder. But then again, the thing has like... One-fifth of its health left. Dad, what are you- mm. Fucking move. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get- 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 
Oh yeah, Ayla, haven't you ever heard of explosive suppression? It's a legitimate strategy. That's better. These battles are a bit too noisy and smelly for my tastes. First try. Um, I have like 60 out. I have a full playthrough under my belt, uh, Kura. So I have a vague idea of what's gonna happen. But hey, we did it! And the statue is Daijobu. I plan to play through this game as tactical gun. Oh! Ah, oh, man, I can't show you my guns yet. I can't show you my darling children. Ah! No! No! What the fuck? Again? I killed you! No! I've got a bad feeling about this. I was rused. Okay, fucking. Mm. <laughs> gotta be kidding. It's fine. I know how I can scam this. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking photo finish. Mm. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Fuck this game! <laughs> wow! It's fine, chat. Sure isn't making this any easier. Nah, Caligula. What's something that's enormous and yet insignificant all at the same time? My dick! Huh? Think about it. Just the two of you. <laughs> As I'm stuck here now. And Zephyr just doesn't give a fuck. Does God feel anything? Oh boy. Backstory! Why doesn't he save the people who deserve it? Dead. It must be because that's what he wanted to happen, right? If you remember Zipperhood, we saw a Zipperhood at the beginning. There aren't any miracles anymore. So what's there to believe in? Also, he's got a weird mustache. Judge me as one of his children. Zephyroth! Da 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 da! Zephyroth! Da 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 da! Hmm. Enormous and insignificant at the same time. Leanne, you gotta get your hair out of those glasses. It's never fun. How? What? Where's the statue? You guys would have it a whole lot easier if it weren't for me. Answer? The worlds in which we live. A real flower petal! See the world through one pair of eyes, and miss out on what everyone else sees. What's this philosophical bullshit, Vash? 
There. That's it. That's the important thing. Never forgetting the possibilities. Vacheron? Have you ever been beyond this world? Can't say I have. But what about your... possibilities? Could you jump off this balcony? Well? Well, no. Why not? Because it would what fucking hurt. Point? Not now. Uh-huh. Guess the world isn't big enough. Am I right? Sure, but so what if it is? There's a, the glasses add a weird tone to the story. I'll take off right here and now. Hey, hold it. Nice. <laughs> Moron. Are you ever going to grow up? I'm out of here. You broke my spine, days, Dad. You learn to look before you leave. Think things through for once. But I wouldn't even be here if he hadn't left before he looked. Hey, wait up! Nope, you're stuck here. And how did Vash get that statue up there? What the fuck, Dad? You can lift statues? What's going on? There, get there, get there. Where is it? There you are. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ooh, hello. What's that? Hang on, team. I got a thing I need to do. Why did Zephyr go suicidal on us? He was trying to impress Leanne. Sonic Chug! I'm gonna chug at Sonic Speeds, bro! Uh, no, the puzzle's not solved, fuck. Oh, Zef uh, Zephyr got some glasses. Now, if you want a power grind in, uh, the forest, you have item drop rate, quad, but you need to be able to get about 80... You need to be able to get um, 80 tiles worth of a color, probably yellow, over to the Forest of Idols. Man, I sure wish I could hear what those idiots are saying. The worst part about getting, like, starting the progress on a new hero meter gauge is that you always see that one fragment and you're just like, ugh, I wish you were done. Let's see, equipment. And you'll get that. Vacheron, you'll get your gun back. So, Ayla, I hope you like gun. Gun is good. What do we have? Okay, so we have a top site. We have a high mount site, which is, um... Just flat out better, but it lacks customization. But I don't really have any slots to put them at among my many scoped gun. But I digress. What is this? 
dregs of the dregs. You won't find a deadlier spot in all of Thassel. You can fight barehanded, but there's just a slight problem. It's actively bad. I think Zephyr needs some levels in grenades. Not really my kind of weapon. Not really my kind of weapon. Too slow. Is this the spot? Ha! You don't want to miss this. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Rob from the weak! That's how shit runs here. I love how dumb the voice dialogue is in this game. It's just basically, BE A DICK! That's how you live. Point of that Zephyr. It just bounced off the buffalo's ass. Another one bites the dust. Oh, nice! Another basil shard. It's a good thing we did that. And Gun Dad did nothing that fight. Well, I think that was worth the ride. Worth all the money I spent on those energy shards. So, we could advance the plot, but I do want to show off a little bit of... Mm. Go away, we're going to be doing fighting in a minute, but I don't want to do it with you guys. You are not worth my penetration. This isn't worth getting killed over. Gundad looks on proudly at the violence his children has wrought. So, here's an area I haven't gone to yet. Another area that I think has a really nice aesthetic. I just like the Rust Punk. One of my favorite show one of my favorite comics is something called Doro Hedoro. It's a very gross and nasty looking anime because everything around it is dirty and rusty. So you learn all about your stuff here, but we don't need to do that. Huh. So, here is the arena. There is a lot to do here. Hey there. But, by doing a lot, you can get the Desert Eagle. The Desert Eagle is technically the strongest handgun because it has the most physical power. And it has the most modding options, but in order to get the Desert Eagle you need 500 copper coins, 200 silver coins, and 50 gold coins. And if you saw one run of arena top rank was 11 copper coins, so there's a lot to do. You also got some stuff here, like, we, if you just want basic bitch stuff, you have that. You can also get clothes here. And also, it's one of the few places where you can buy grenades. Let's show off a, a fight or two, and show you why I'm probably not gonna do 
all of them on stream. So the arena is scaled to how you should be doing things. I should just be fucking doing this. There we go. Hmm, who needs gun XP? Vash. There's not gonna get a lot. This must be my lucky day. So, you get stuff here, you get energy, hexes, and supplies. But uh And you get some money. Hey there. But there's just a slight problem. You, uh... You have to do each fight three times to advance. So really, instead of nine fights, that's... 27. For bronze. So 27 times three is like, what? A little bit around... Eight, uh... 70, 80 fights? And all of them are repetitive as fuck. But hey. What's up? I could buy some ice cream. Thanks, kid. The arena might be something I do on off time. Like if I'm just bored, I'm gonna boot up the game and just do like arena. What did, what does that even do? Soft serve. I guess we use it in like a combat instance? 81 fights, all repetitive. That's arena. Sounds great, doesn't it? Arena is good for goodies, but it is a time investment. And that's not why I'm here. Hmm, I believe if we go here, we could actually view the overworld and see if there are any fights we may have missed. It doesn't look like it. Yes, it is indeed the Uber grind. Oops. Oops, we got promoted. Ah, nice. Let's go ahead and windmill slam that shit right into our gun. Three more bullets in our machine gun. Wunderbar. So I'm pretty sure some people in chat know a lot about this game, so I'm gonna ask for a little bit of advice. Where is the second machine gun? Because I figure out where all four of the guns are, I just don't know where the machine gun is. Also, I'm gonna swing by the store to get some supplies and also, you know, clothing shop. If you have to ask how much, you can't afford it. One day. One day. Can I sell anything?
The machine guns are the friends we made along the way. Ah, so I could fire my chat at a high velocity at my enemies to dispose of them. Good to know. Oh yeah, we need a f we need all the mannequin parts, so do not sell those. I just need to make 25 grand, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'm trying to figure out where I could scam this. I believe the second machine gun is in ch Oh god, that's so fucking far away. Time to be broke as fuck. Off with you then. I'll explain something in a minute, but I do want to check to see what I forfeited. Vacheron, how good to see you. It's a pleasure, darling. Yeah, we don't have any clothes yet, so I haven't really tossed away anything. That's good, because I'm going to feel really bad next chapter. Less business, more pleasure next time. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I'm five. I don't know what you're talking about. So... Let's talk about dual wielding. I think Vashron is the best candidate for this. So dual wielding requires one thing. Or requires two things. Oh, wow. That's really fucking heavy, actually. So what does Vashron have? He has the 1911. Oh, no wonder. Fucking this thing has idiotic amounts of stuff. We have to do the needful, unfortunately, to demonstrate. So we have the uh, SG, we have the Sig Sauer, and we have the 1911. Now in order to do a wield, you need to be able to equip both in both arms. Now notice how I just make the weight capacity. So I am forfeiting all the buffs in order to get some uh, two-handed unique buffs. But this also means I am committed to gun violence. Uh, let's get rid of you. And have you carry first aid, because we fucking need that shit. We're going to be out of grenades for a hot while, folks. But yeah, that's dual wielding. You get two guns. I believe this was intended for... Fucking... Zephyr, but Zephyr is a young punk with no weight capacity. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. We will see the effects of dual wielding in a bit. I just need to get to, uh... I need to get to advancing the plot. But right now, we're broke as a joke. Oh right, we get the uh, Our subplot. Has entered its final stages. I thought it time to make the key. What key? The key to Zenith. It will be in your keeping. So, if there's something you'd like me to use, tell me now. I'd be happy to oblige. Ah, the ring. What could be more fitting? You never see this guy's face. It's a little frustrating. Rowan. You see Rowan's, There's aka no Dark or Black Quill. You, more than I do. you must know that. 
If I didn't, I would never have revealed the truth to you. Let me be perfectly clear this once. We're evil men. You can't just tell the audience what the person is feeling. That makes me angry. One a year. For 20 years. I'll never forget. The innocence in their eyes. That sounds ominous. Also, I'm pretty sure, like, reflecting back on Ice Claw's statement, um, the fashion, the fashionista is actually French, not Russian. At least that's what I'm assuming. We've done all the plot, so yeah. So, with that heavy-handed shit out of the way, let's see what the idiots are up to. Yes, I understand. Of course, we're on our way. Huh. Well, that came out of nowhere. Must be big. Where to? Chandelier. Cardinal Barbarella. Oh boy, I think it's this cutscene. For those of you watching, once I get to the plot, pay very close attention to the introduction cutscene. Don't spoil it. Ah. So we've talked to you as Leanne, as, uh, let's see how you react to Vash. Well, bye. So yeah, if it wasn't aware, if it wasn't, like, clear a while ago, yeah, um, Pater and Zephyr are actually good friends. Whatever could have driven P Cardinal Pater to curl his large frame into such a tiny ball, was he anxious about something? That's not a tiny ball, lady. That is a meat orb. <laughs> and yeah, people are just stating it right here. Yo, Cardinal Pater's been around here a lot lately. Cardinal Pater just wants to be buddies with us. He wants to be the third gun child. How are you? Pater's a cool dude, though. I mean, is he really? We don't know much about him aside from the fact that he gave us 30 grand to find his, uh, his star. Those who appreciate beauty contribute to my next artistic oeuvre. Oeuvre? Oeuvre? I took French, but I don't know how to pronounce that. Oeuvre? Oeuvre? Only those with sure eye for artistry need to apply. I wait at my manor. I don't have enough mannequins for displaying clothes. I'm perfectly willing and capable of making my own, but getting the materials is too much of a challenge. I have invested where to get these materials are, so come see me if you need to know. Ouvre. Could I be... Could I get you to indulge in somewhat of a mystery? I'll be waiting. Chandelier. Alright. Also, the dude outside doesn't have a quest for us. Yay. We might be able to do the, uh, the mannequin thing, like, right out the gate. Everybody's just like, oh, why is Pater here? You wear the same clothes every day, do you? No. Ethel, washing clothes costs money. Don't you understand? I'm a broke motherfucker. I bought this gun. How are you? Should give priority to animations from the boutique. 
If this play closes, I'm blaming you. Oh, believe me, honey. I want to keep this place open as long as you do. I'm gonna chat my shop. Some merchandise lines, but I don't have enough mannequins. And there's a complete, big and complete ones. I just need the materials. Oh. Four part. Oh, I'm missing the head. Oh wait, am I? I need five. How much do I have? I am short on legs and heads. So I can't do that for now. Leanne, aren't you the cutest little thing? Bitch, I'm away. It looks like new clothes have appeared. Oh, that looks pretty nice. But have these appeared? No, they have not. Damn it. One day, goddammit. Ah, uh, Vacheron has gotten his. So, Vacheron has gotten his uh, unique outfits this chapter. And they look really strange, so we have like this professional colored outfit and fucking anime right there. B hat, I don't know if B hat's there. It's all the same logos, though. I think Vacheron gets a little bit more, because A, he gets his own dumb face on his uh, shirt, and he looks weirdly pretty here. This shirt looks nice. I'd, I'd wear this shirt. Huh. This is anime as fuck. Also, we just keep a girl's portrait on our back. This feels like a Yakuza tattoo in a weird way. Right, I think that is all the stuff that Vash gets. Sadly, this one doesn't get the glasses, so I am not fond of it. Because, man, those gla these glasses right here, these glasses are a brand. I gotta look dumb as shit. Does Zephyr get anything new? Ooh, he got two new jackets, actually. Oh no, these are shoes. What am I doing? He did get a new jacket, though. Okay, here I think they start getting different. This is the best shirt! This is a shirt I have to keep on Vacheron, or not Vacheron, Zephyr forever. Look at that burger! It's like... It's a quadruple stack. And the potato wedges, all the potato wedges. This is just kind of nothing. This one just looks like the inside walls of my apartment. This is just funny to me because this is a, a, a soccer jersey, but it has the zipper on the chest with the fucking violence blade on it. Ah, we don't get the best shirt yet, damn it. Plus we're also broke, so I can't really buy anything. Ah, uh, Leanna doesn't have a new shirt yet, really? That sucks. Because Leanne gets the best shirt, I believe. Eh, yeah, just go back to A. It's got the best glasses on anyways. He wears a damn choker too. Yep. See you later, Leon. Z Zephyr is hilarious. We did pick up some custom items on the field though, so let's see if uh see what I got there. Oh! 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 Yo, when did I get this shit? Yeah! Also, we have a maid cap, I guess, but that's like, no, 
B. B's, homeboy. Look at the shoes. Mmm. Those are powerful shoes. I think that's about it for Leanne, unfortunately. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. Yes! Yes! I can have it on all outfits. Oh, nice! I can even have the trucker glasses on her. Here we go. We'll go with Leanne's classic, just casual outfit of, you know, bee hat. That means I could also do... Yeah! But I also got other uh, glasses, so... I could look like a dork. Or I could look like... The biggest fucking... Nerd geek in anime ever. Nah. Gotta wear the edgelord shades. So I don't I can't see what the belt is because this idiot like tucks his shirt over his belt. But I think that'll be a Zephyr, which means we can do stuff with Vacheron too, can't we? Zoom out! I wanna see what Vacheron looks like. There we go. Get that, get that. And I actually don't have a lot with Vacheron, unfortunately. I gotta wear this weird tiger skin outfit, I guess. I didn't know that you could get the glasses on outfit B. I was wondering why I, uh, I had those before. But yeah, we're looking fly now. Not looking like some weirdo in a black leather jacket that stands outside the bowling hall trying to pick up chicks. Nah, I look like some kind of Texan that stands outside the bowling alley looking to pick up chicks. Oh fuck, I look terrible. I fucking love those glasses, Ice Claw. You fuck off. Ah! Okay, so we gotta go to the... Well, A, I'm gonna go to my fridge to get a drink real quick, but then we also gotta go to Chandelier, so I'll be back in a second. Glasses are great. Oh, nerd glasses suffer. I gotcha. <laughs> My apologies then. Really though, do you need an excuse to throw Zephyr in the locker? He deserves it. So my mission objective is to buy all the idiot dumb motherfucker attire and make the worst goddamn outfit ever. God, I gave him those stupid shoes. Like, we got the gun. We spent all the money on the gun. We're good. So, Teresa won something, I believe. Is there a clown outfit? We can't channel those powerful energies anymore. It terrified people. Honestly, I was hoping that Leanne would get her face paint again. That shit was funny. Thank you so much. It's been a long time since my husband passed on, but there's still one item in this I just can't find. I want it found. Thank you so much. What I need is finding a medal he treasured as a good luck charm. It's the only thing missing from his belongings they sent back. I was convinced it's buried somewhere near Lucia. What was the face paint again? It was uh, Sakura petals forming a flower. And it was in to impress Cardinal Gargillion, I believe? Speaking of, we gotta get to his manor. Oh, it's already unlocked, fuck. Hmm. 
Man, Gargiliana's manner is quite fucking terrifying, actually, because it's just this. Do you think me beautiful? No! You sound like a lunatic! It's you who has come. Very well, I see you. No problem with artists of fine distinctions such as, uh... Require photographs of idol statues. Three from all three different sites. You need a camera. Do you think me beautiful? Oh, so he's gonna be coy about this shit. And for the actual plot, we need to go to Barbarella's, which is why I'm doing all this bullshit. So chat, I would highly recommend if you're playing video games or doing your homework, or I don't know, looking at porn, might want to hold off on that for a little while. Cause this shit's gonna be dumb. All right, we had to be here to deliver the knives. Who is ready for stupid? I sure am. Wow. What a team. Boy. This. <laughs> Perfect. A bottle of wine? It's empty. And I haven't even finished the main course yet. And and I want you to fetch mm, me another those straps before I finished my meal. Well, this we're fucked. Is why you called? <laughs> yes. Damn you! Damn you, woman! And yet. <laughs> and yet. <laughs> This like is a fucking scene. Oh, 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 it doesn't get any more real than that. Oh, oh. If you're serious about letting loose with those bunker buses, <laughs> don't be surprised when I return fire with my trusty Magnum. <laughs> Vacheron's a no. terrible parent. Focus. Come on, Vacheron, keep it together. What did she want? Not a war. It's wine. Of course. Fermented grapes. Full ripe grapes need fertile soil. <laughs> That's it. It's so obvious. Ah, well, we have our raisins. No. <laughs> uh, one wine. Coming right away. Ma'am. I'll have my servant waiting for you in the bar. Take it to him, would you? Say, so how much of your meal are we on a time limit for? And B, what the fuck, Vash? Wow, Barbarella, I guess it's fucking loaded. Look, look, Ice Claw! Ice Claw! Vash has to keep his trusty Magnum ready to go! So he can't have all that power go into his brain! And yeah, that- that cutscene right there, that fucking scene right there was the moment I said, Okay, yeah, this game fucking rules. This is so dumb. So goddamn idiotic, I love it. This game is fucking wonderful. So, as the, uh, as the flunky mentioned, um, core level two is pretty fucking cold. So we want to do the quest that involves getting us the, uh, ice armor, at least. That way, we won't freeze our nipples off. Which mission was that? God, her outfit is so goddamn ridiculous. It's just overalls.
Did I miss the cutscene? You absolutely did, B-Man. So, we want to do Igniting Creativity, so we want to go back to uh, base and figure out where these idols are. I believe I know where they are, but I want to make sure. Hi. Know anything about a town called Pateropolis? It went toe up a long way back. Now I hear Pater himself is leading an effort to rebuild it. Wow. I didn't realize Pater had such ambitions. Bye. If you're going to level 7, be wary of freeze. Yep, that is very important. <laughs> The other day I saw you grab Pater and smack him around. It seemed most playful, but still, you really are fearless. Yeah, Zephyr's kind of an idiot. Ah, friend. Oh. Sounds like the heartthrob of the old lady community is Jean Paulet. Ah, you're the tutorial, Grandpa. I don't care about you. I don't think we want a world free of death. Thanos taught us that. Even though he's super horny for death. Let me tell you, the Marvel comics are hilarious. Hi. An idol... Downtown in Lucia, so we do need to go there for another thing. So Lucia is definitely a first hit. Well. Hello. I had too many custom parts in it for a gun to get too heavy. Gotta raise your level high enough. That's the only way he will stay in business. Uh, I may be in a rut for Vashron, so I might have to start, like, doing grenade practice with him. Maybe dual wielding is not the thing I should be doing, but fuck it, it's cool. Huh. Shit. <clears throat> Seems like only one person knew about the, uh, idol. <laughs> so, let's head to, uh... Oh, where the fuck did he say it was? I know where it is, but I don't remember the name. We have to take this elevator to get there, I believe. So, somebody says something about the idol being in downtown Lucia. Well, let's save and figure this shit out. Beats sitting around at home all day. Uh, this is not going to be a great demonstration of the dual wielding, but let's do it. So dual wielding is basically, um, gun, but harder. Also, man, Vashron reels it weird. You dual wield basically if you just want to either juggle or smack down someone. It doesn't really have any practical purpose, but damn. It looks cool. Won't take much to beat these into submission. He's still alive, fuck. This is bullshit. 
But then again, we weren't doing how we should be playing the game. The obvious way, obvious way to play the game. So wow, where did that come from? Go over here, and over here, and yeah. There we go. Also, wow, those physics! Hmm, I gotta keep an eye around here, because I know there's stuff in this area. I'm not much for backing down from a fight. Oh, fuck. Stop aiming at the- mm. Dick bags. Oh god, it's not dead yet. Fuck. Annoying. Let's see. Easy. Man, this is going to be almost unfair. Okay, so we want to go to blue next. So the weird thing about dual wielding is that it's not really all that practical. If you're playing the game right, you don't really need two guns. All it does is give you more opportunities to um, juggle someone. In fact, dual wielding is kind of a hassle because um, it takes away. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It takes away customization. You want raw damage out, but though, you fucking got it. Like, you can just kill dudes with this gun. I also totally forgot that we still have the B hat on. This is dumb. God, there's still one alive. Fuck. Why are they so stubborn? There we go. I also like how if you're in midair while this is happening, you just kind of dead drop. If you're looking at the shadow there, you just see Zephyr kind of like stop in midair and fall. Alright, not bad. But I didn't quite find what I need, though. That's the problem here. I thought there was supposed to be a thing here for a quest, but I'm not seeing it.
Alright, so this was the boss arena. But I don't see anything here. Somebody mentioned you could refight bosses for supplies, but there's not really anything here right now. Oh, right. Physical matter exists in this world. This comes with the territory. Alright, so there's that. And if I remember right... Uh... Not Barbara, the other gal, said that a medal should be here. But I'm not really seeing anything. And there's not really a lot around here either. Like, we kind of just did the whole dungeon. It's all about action. There isn't a weapon made that a real pro can't handle. Yeah, let's uh, let's escape Hex out here and try to figure this shit out. Can we move past that area? Because I know there are back alleys that we can't seem to get to. Like, there's stuff back there that I just can't get to. Ah, uh, you guys could go suck an egg. We'll see who has the last laugh. I may need help, chat, figuring out a quest. Because I thought you could cut through downtown. Oh, wait. Was I supposed to be able to exit through the uh, one area? I really hope not. Hmm. Yeah, Chad, if you're listening, um, go ahead and look up where I could find the Prelate's Medal. Because Teresa said it's somewhere in downtown, but I don't know where it is. In the meantime, I'm gonna get into a random encounter and leave. God, Vacheron looks so stiff when he's running with two guns. It's like his upper torso is just a bar. Hmm, I wonder. Ah, it's all of the wrong piece. Google says a treasure hex by Luce. Oh, talk about timing, eh, Denovan? So in the meantime, let's go ahead and continue the idle mission. We got the Prelate Medal and we got the portrait in Lucia, so let's see if uh, NPCs will tell me anything about an idol. Hi. <laughs> I think I know of two places where it could be, but I'm not for sure and I want to see if the NPCs will tell me. You keep at it. Cranktown. We want to get our crank on in Cranktown. Where the hell is that? Cranktown. 
Crank Town is on Core Lift Two near Silver Canyon, next to our objective. So we do want to go that way. Which elevator do we want to take? I forget. I think we want to take this one. Yeah. The lift that we couldn't take before because we didn't have the proper credentials. What do you guys got to say? Basil is the entirety of the world and humans are just a tiny little race hanging on inside its walls. Oh, hello there. Up until 20 years ago, the highest office in Basil was that of prelate with the cardinal serving below it. Since the death of the last prelate, Cardinal Rollet has acted as the de facto root lord. So it's funny that that one NPC was talking about how we're just little ants walking around in this giant machine of a planet. Because as we get lower, things tend to get a little bit more uh, grungier. What a lovely evening. Oh. What? My business shirt not good enough for the winter? Well, time to get a Hexen. I have far too many of these. Far too many. Do I have any yellows? I do. Well, there's Cranktown. And we gotta get the Crank Seminary as well, with an item. Nice. Super Grenade! Let's stop on by- oh. We forgot one thing to check up on. Uh, we'll use this one. We forgot Le Chichat Noir. The Night Chit Chat. It's a bar! Ah, Japan's weird views on that. What is it? Well, I like the gothic look. Jeez, lady, calm down. Oh. Have you ever been to level 9? It's a downright ugly, filthy place where mining is the only game in town. A mine called the Dakota Vein. Supposedly there's a storehouse there where they keep guns made off the books. Interesting. Can I get a machine gun there? And time for camp. <laughs> oh, we don't get much out of him this time. But yeah, there's a lot of camp in this particular bar. Meanwhile in Cranktown, what's happening here? I'm sick to death of this. Outsiders aren't welcome around here, especially you, Vacheron. The grape salesman. I can work with most anything you bring in. I believe this area gets new Yuki new blah, 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 blah. new unique items that uh that the home base doesn't have. Case in point, we get that. You put this on a gun, it's gonna fucking aim. But yeah, we get access to a new type of uh, modifier seen on our guns before, but we've never touched yet. We also get multi-barrels. And multi-barrels. And oh my god. 
Does it get fucking stupid with the modifiers? This is the place where you could buy mods, where you could attach bar gun barrels to your grip. You also get magazines that have uh, other magazine additions to them. It gets really fucking wild. Like right here, um, if you notice, we have the top we have the top site which could produce a combat site. The combat site has an H. The H is used to make the sub site. I want to get a prototype mount, but unfortunately, I'm broke. Finished already? This is just a humble country store. Not much to offer. Oh, what to sell? I can sell these uh, Sonic Chugs that I am not using. Oh right, I disassembled all the uh, stuff. So I have all these spare parts. I can sell the quest item. Oh, that would be fucked up. Hey, sorry we sold the uh, the plot device for your for your missing dead husband. Sorry, 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 not sorry. The roads are dangerous by night. I can Be work careful. with most anything you bring in. Yeah, I can get two of those prototype mounts. Finished already? Now if I believe, if we do looking at this. Where is the prototype mount? There we go. That goes there, which will allow us to equip this. And I don't think I got a slot for it, so I think I'm just gonna put the high mount site here. That is how things get a little ridiculous. We could put on Lego pieces exclusively to put on more scopes. Speaking of more scopes. Let's get just completely fucking dumb here. Ah oh man, wait. Ah oh, no, I have the wrong... Mm, dang it. Wait, I might be able to fix this. Hang on. Take that off. And take that off. Now if I do this here, then do this here, then put the dot scope here. There we go. Perfect. My gun now has six scopes. It could get even more idiotic, but, um, well, I just don't have the money. You got it? I'll take it apart. Ah, Dissembler, I actually want to see you. All of the optics in the world! Take care. All right. Hey there. Mm. Hunter's basic weapons are small arms fire. And yeah, that's how he tells you, like, if you're stuck leveling, just switch, switch your weapons around, dude. But I don't think levels are the problem we're facing right now, no. I think right now we're facing a, uh, a more financial scenario. Also, there's a guild here. We could check in here if we wanted to. Also, hello! Idol in the Crank Seminary. Bye. Yeah. Hmm. 
Let me tell you about my my fucking submachine gun with six scopes. Hi. I could see the world with this shit. <coughs> we also got the hotel, which doesn't really have a lot. I need a room? Uh, we'll need cash up front, you know. Ah uh, well. Oh, there's a thing here. Hang on. Ah. Yeah, the hotel here is just so you can uh, rest up, save, and also change if you want to switch up your outfits. Not really much, but hey. That's a nice little place to hang out at. It's a nice little uh, away base for when you're... um. Doing shit out here. Hmm. So there's another cardinal leg of fields authority. Uh, I don't really care. I say fuck authority. I'm taking photos. This comes with the territory. Malevolent idol photo. Not a lot here, though. But this place has important things later on. Now, yeah, the question is where's the third idol? Asking around Cranktown might be good. I can't believe, I can't believe this world was engineered to have classist ideals. Like, people are able to tell that, like, I'm a fucking rich boy because I'm wearing fashionista outfits. Meanwhile, everybody else here is wearing, like, drab, dreary oh. stuff. So the idol, the third idol is, is at Jean Paulet's manor. <sighs> Yo. There's a lot of religious overtones in this game about running around with your two darling children shooting up the place. So we want to go to Jean Paulet's building. It sounds like, which means we need to. Get violenced upon. I like it when it gets messy. Oh, nice. We get to fight the helicopter gremlins. Ah, oh, damn it. Time for gun. Let's see if I can juggle this guy before he fucking dies. God damn it. I had it too. Oh, what's wrong with your head, buddy? Oh my. Oh, those models. I don't think they're meant to be 8K. What the fuck? I shot his head off, but not enough. Also, there's a unique fight there. Hmm. Let's complete the jobs first, and then we'll see what that unique fight has. Probably a level 90 MacGuffin there to kill me dead. I found a shiny rock. 
Yeah, wait. Is that Dr. Eggman? He's seeing you. That dude looks like fucking Jim Carrey as Dr. Eggman. It's weird. Oh, there are more unique fights. Hmm. I'll have to address all those later. I got two jobs to redeem soon? And then we'll have money for clothes. I will not look like a poor. What do you got to say? How you doing? They put a statue up at the Tower of the Forest of Isles. It's certainly hideous. Nah, it's not hideous at all. <clears throat> uh, Jean Paul is all the way over there. So we need to do stuff. Oh, nice. Delicious rewards. They really try to incentivize you to do all of this stuff just because, man, the payoffs are really good. But you gotta be careful because you need to... You can't be spending all this stuff willy-nilly. There we go. J Sweet JP's manor is up and running. This comes with the territory. Also, wow, the the shaders are kind of losing their fucking mind on my end. You guys see that too, right? That's not normal. No, no, yeah. Yeah, JP's house, Jean Palais. I'm pretty sure it's an issue with my computer, but like, fuck. That kind of sucks. I don't know why to do that. All right. All right, Greg Manor. Here you go. Do you think me beautiful? Mistover updates now. Hard mode has MP. Ooh, nice. Fortunately, the Switch ain't gonna see any updates until the end of October. Sigh. Now we went through all of that rigmarole in order to get the ice proof vest. Which is very important because I believe it stops freeze entirely. We also want to stop by Theresa's Manor and cash in that mission so we can get some uh, spending money. Have you noticed Theresa's dress? It's designed with a rose motif. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Prelate Frida personally conferred this medal to my husband. He treated it with the utmost reverence. It made me think that maybe he found it himself and came to tell me of its whereabouts. Nice. That's money. That ain't paid her money, but that's money. So I can probably buy some mods. To wait, I think I'm going to um, take Vacheron off of uh, off of uh, dual wheel duty. Just because, man, um, dual wielding is not all that great. 
But we could customize the, um, the SIG. Don't I have an experimental grip? Oh no, I only bought two, shit. Well that sucks. Time to apply my brand. My brand of abject dumb. Fortunately, I'm short on scope, so the gun's not as idiotic as, say, some of my other creations. I'm missed over is that I'm still kind of playing it off and on on my switch even th despite the uh, brutality of it and it's starting to um it's starting to make a little bit more sense not enough to where I feel comfortable about streaming it more but you know can you move the gun itself yes you can we learned that recently and that is going to be very important for modding speaking of modding we do want to go down a couple floors in order to go to uh Crank City and get those delicious, delicious mods. But also, there's a fight at uh, Pateropolis, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into some trouble. I don't think I have the color for that. No, I don't. That is a shade of, that is a verb we don't have. Also, man, we didn't get any fucking rewards there. That stinks. Let's not get too crazy, okay? Ew. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's not good. Let's see if I can set up a actual ass try attack. Sadly, I can't quite tell you what what um HP break does for me. Attacks would work pretty well, it's just they're incredibly awkward to figure out. There we go, Leanne's getting her levels. Ah, 
Dage breaking keeps enemies from healing past that point. Oh, that's nice, but I haven't seen enemies that heal. Well, they heal from stealing our, uh, our hero gauge. But if that breaks, then you're kind of fucked already. Trying to see if I can just finish this guy off before we continue. There we go. We killed the pancakes. And all we got out of that were bronze blobs, oddly enough. It jiggles if you poke it. Ew. Fucking gross. Yeah, the ice resistant vest uh, lowers the risk of freezing. Doesn't neutralize it. But hey, it's better than what we got. That fight was a little strange, but uh. Oh, fucking. Hmm. Let's get this over with. Yeah, fuck this. Running away with my tail between my legs isn't really my thing. They also just the time until ghost monsters respawn. Good. Res Monster resurrection is fucking dumb. It adds absolutely nothing. Yeah, let's see that other fight. I'm also curious if I could see fights on the overworld. So let's bring up the world map. Yeah, you can see fights on the overworld. Also, there's something at the Forest of Idols? Oh, right. The, the mannequin farm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any other fights. How bad was the escort mission? It actually went quite swimmingly. Didn't have any issues whatsoever. All oh, right, I gotta. Free escape hacks, nice. Getting a little dicey on the uh, old hexes though. I gotta figure that shit out soon cause uh, man, I won't be able to navigate without hexes. supposed to do this. I don't know how they want me to do this. Because I can't fit it in any logistical way. Am I just supposed to use two? That doesn't seem intuitive. Yeah, Sanatuka, I am playing this game. Although, admittedly, it's kind of frustrating me right now as I'm trying to figure this shit out. Uh, how wasteful. What a goddamn waste. I'm not much for backing down from a fight. Metal. Gear? Ugh.
these guys get super tricky just because they're so tanky I say abject murdering one Yes, kick this Molotov cocktail. Oh, come on, Vash. Come on, Vash. Ah, uh, you jackass. Should be able to do a really good try attack. Sorry, looks like you still got some catching up to do. There we go. How many rounds you go through taking that one down, Zephyr? Yes, Zephyr. How many Molotovs did you use to take that down? I use seven. All right, let's see what this unique fight is. These sort of gangsters have a really funny like dialogue that they say, but you never really quite hear it. You guys are relatively strong, so you gotta be careful. Here we go. Ah, dang it. Ah, dang it. What an unfortunate waste. Cause that try attack didn't really do much, actually.
Yeah, for the tra for the team attack, you gotta do it more than like you want to build up more residents, but it kind of depletes over time, so it gets really tricky to fit to like balance that out. Ah, fuck you. You picked a fight with the world. How about this? This is why normal ass shooting is bad, and having no meter kind of sucks. Where's that first aid? Come on, you can do better than that. Pick your bones clean. See if I could like draw aggro here. I can reach you. There we go. That's what I was looking for. You want happening. That's what happens when you don't have hero meter and everything is just miserable. That's also part of why I don't do tri attacks, because tri attacks require multiple uses of the hero meter. It's a very tricky balance. We haven't fought these guys yet, so let's go ahead and play a little bit. There isn't a weapon Time for Molotovs. Oh wait. Oh. Oops, I set Leanne on fire. Come on, you can do better than that. Why did you pick up the hero meter part that was next to uh Zephyr? Because we pick him up automatically at the end of a fight. Everything is terrible. Oh no! Don't let him take you out that easy. How do I end up like this? Please don't freeze me again. Damn it! Okay, fine. Zephyr, just Come finish on, this. Finish this Zephyr, we're kind of fucking embarrassing ourselves here. Hey, I'm just happy to be keeping up. I love this dumb bee hat. This is beautiful. I'm glad someone kept pointing it out. This is great.
Ah, uh, yeah, the dungeons in this, in this area are technically bridges. This is this is a bridges game. This is feels like work when you enjoy it so much. This is before Hideo Kojima's work with Death Stranding. This is a stranding game. We're building bridges. Well, we're not building bridges. We're atop bridges, but. And Leanne is just not hitting those, uh, the scratch hits. This seems like a bad idea. Oh god damn it. Okay, hang on. Just a scratch. Oh fuck. Drop from the weak. That's the law around here. Don't let him take you out that easy. Oh, are they just gonna fucking yeah, they're gonna stack freeze on me, aren't they? Okay, good. Those little goblins gotta fucking go. Fuck those things. You have earned my infinite ire. You are now my favorite enemy to kill. Leanne, you can hit this fucking. Ugh. You gotta sit back and take it. Threatened. Come on, don't jam on me now. I should get some hero meter parts for breaking these guys' clothes, so. I think Lian is good on good on SMG levels and now needs to go back to uh, pistol working or grenades. That right there should be good. That should give me exactly what I need. This is it. That was your last mistake. Here we go. I wish I could have seen what it's like up there. So one thing to note, what I did just there is entirely random. There's no logic to it. I did some research on it uh, last night, and it is just entirely random. And yeah, like... That's one th great thing about Vashram, when he uses grenades, he just kicks them, no matter what they are. And there's a grenade in the game called Dog Shit. So you can have Vashram do kick dog shit in someone's face. That is what this game damn. is. She may be a bag job, but damn! What are you complaining about? No shame in going for low-hanging fruit. I'm sorry, what are you talking about?
This is going to be a very tricky and admittedly shitty multi-attack. Man, Vashron's about to get fucked up. That should do for getting meter. Because I'll get two from the mobster and one from uh, the goblin. And there goes Vash. Also, man, we're getting levels pretty fucking fast now all of a sudden. There we go, got the other armor. Don't you fucking do it! Okay, good. Gonna get that little shit. Oh, that's not good. Vash needs to absolutely leave. Dang it! I wanted that hilarious scene. I see Max from Dark Clyde 2. Oh yeah! That is also the same voice actor, isn't it? This fight was a little tricky. See, level. Well, he's he's close to leveling up pistol, so we'll get it from him. Just when I there we I go. Couldn't possibly get any better. Surprisingly tricky fight. Did not like it whatsoever. Zero out of ten. Fuck this place. I can't believe Max grew up and became an edge lord. Thanks, but I'll be okay if I keep moving. Uh hmm. Oh no, it's the cold doggos. Oh, God damn it. Ah, uh, that sucks. I was trying to avoid that. Oh, 
Oh god. Mm. Man. To the game I keep getting confused with is Threads of Fate. Huh. I've heard of that game, but I've never actually played it. Dogs haven't done anything yet. It's weird. It's all about having the right tool for the job. Possibilities are endless. Ultra violence right. upon yon yon dog. Now that's a fucking throw. the fact that Vash in order to be a complete asshole just fucking backflip kicks a Molotov cocktail. Move. What was? Hey, thanks for the follow. Uh, the Sakaro? I ain't reading that right at all, but whoops. Yeah, the backflip pick is really fucking good. I have no idea what's going on. Then pay attention. It's very simple. I just take the gun go and be violent. I am the violence king. I think I would have broken some armor there. Oh, the dog's not the only person going to space. Here we go. And just to add insult to injury. Just slam this guy into the ground with bullets. Cause fuck you and everything you know. I'm a hero. Look at all that stuff we got just by slamming a guy into the ground multiple times. So East Bridge is entirely out, but I believe we could get something by going there. But also I want to change around equipment a little bit. Because Vacheron is pretty well leveled on grenades. I want Leanne to do... Hmm, which one has the mods? I think the BN has mods. Hmm. 
Everybody looks to be good on gun levels except for Leanne's grenade. Leanne and Zephyr definitely need grenade levels, that's for sure. I guess Zephyr will get his uh, precious SMG back. And Vash! Vash is gonna be our medic, because he's over leveled. Speaking of, I should probably put that on. Alright, let's see what's here. You came to the yep. wrong place. With the dregs of the dregs, you won't find a deadlier spot in all of Basel. I want that snow gremlin fucking dead. Oh yeah, we need to level up Leanne's grenades. Now I'm packing heat. I don't think I need their hero mode this, I just need to throw it. Conservation of attacks. Especially since this guy is gonna fucking run over Leanne now. I just want to say hi before I go back and get caught up in the VODs. Always wondered how Final Gun to see played. It's pretty good. It's a little ridiculous. There we go. I think I broke the armor. Oh, I didn't break the armor, and I'm out of grenades. from the weak. That's the Hmm. That's a problem. There we go. I needed to get that hero gauge, so that required an armor break. No, no. Put the Molotovs. How does this one work again? Leanne, it's a fucking Molotov cocktail. You just light it and fucking fling it. Like that. I feel like JFU's work just that the devs embrace the weirdness and just be as ridiculous as possible. I agree. That is why Zephyr is running around with an SMG front flipping and shooting infinity bullets. Like up there, just once. Now I'm packing heat. 
Her running through our animation is extremely goofy and adorable. Ooh, nice. Multi aids are pretty good. Also, more fire for Leanne to burn the world with. Commit grievous arson, Leanne. Do it. Ah, she didn't do the flip. Dang it. It is really funny when she does the fr the upside down flip and just has hang time forever. What's her levels looking like right now? Ah, so far so good. We just need to keep Leanne uh, on grenades a little bit longer. In and out. Nice and easy. Any of those little freeze fart knockers nearby? No? Good. You don't want to miss this! this That fucking front flip throw animation is so profoundly dumb. It's wonderful. God, these guys do absolutely no damage to us. It's almost sad. And a parting gift. Get burned alive, scum. Through grenades. I don't think I could pull it off. How about this? Oh wow, it actually didn't do it. Fuck. Damn it. Okay, fine. We'll do it the right way. With bullets. You think grenades would be a more reliable way to kill someone, but eh, what do I know? Also, I should lay off the grenade use, because I think I'm almost out. Whew. This must be the place they call the freezer. That's right. Food, medicine, the liquor we're after, they store it all here. I wouldn't mind living near here. And have Barbarella breathing down your neck? So that's some interesting lore bits. Apparently this zone is owned and operated by Barbarella. And Barbarella controls all the sales of what happens here. So people that want to farm around here to get, like, penicillin, steaks, alcohol, they got to talk to her first. They got to deal with her uh, ballistics as well. So it's kind of an unfortunately raw deal. Yeah, we gotta. Now I'm packing heat. We gotta get off that. We gotta save some grenades for Zephyr, I guess.
Did I just miss every bullet? A, I missed every bullet. B, I shot the wrong target. Wonderful. That's part of the main reason why you increase a bullet tightness, because that is technically accuracy. Um, nah. Now I'm packing heat. There. Now, how are we going to deal with all of that from the walker? That's going to be an interesting problem. There we go, Zephyr's catching up on levels, kinda. Okay, so if I break that center armor, I'll be able to get some uh, meter back. There we go. Is this a super hot time only moves when you do? Yes. And if you notice, Zephyr's uh, meter is running down as we move. But also, if we do a hero action, we just get another meter to play with. For time, at least. This will be tricky. Okay, it's fine. I thought I was gonna have a little bit of an issue dealing with the elephant, but we're fine. Everything is Daijobu. It's freezing. Oh, we should have brought you a coat. Hmm, fur lining, yeah. Or maybe goose down. Her Highness sounds a little spoiled to me. A man should never let a woman wear too much makeup or too many clothes. <laughs> It's the, it's the little banter that makes this game really funny. They've only been around each other for three years and they're already like a darling family. Come on. Awesome, man, those uh, full scratch procs are just not appearing. Also, here is Advanced Doggo. We got a good look at him here. He gets uh, machinery on his left side because I think that's supposed to carry a, uh, a weapon and his hat. I think you're above their levels, Leanne. You're going down. I won't take that line down. How's this? Oh, yeah. 
All right, we're doing good on meter here. This is fine. picked up. This should be interesting. Okay, let's try this. some good mileage. And I think we can just kill him with Leanne now. You the fight. Ah. Try attack is really tricky. I never know when's the right time to use it. Like, right there was pretty good, but I think we could have done better. to wear leather <laughs> don't go catching a cold on me I don't want to play anybody's nurse hmm leather isn't exactly insulating either Leanne <laughs> I should probably start doing some actual fucking work. Ah, that was kind of a waste of meter. I think I'm gonna retry that fight just because I super botched it. How come you're the only one who gets to wear leather? <laughs> don't go catching a cold on me. I don't want to play anybody's nurse. Cause like you gotta hit those walkers relatively well, but it's kind of tricky. when you do stuff like that, it doesn't make it easy. That should be enough meter breaks to get some uh, good stuff going. Oh, fucker. Ah, 
Ah, oh, man, that didn't get me anything. Fuck. Gonna be tricky. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I could probably get two off of the shady thug. You'll be dead by the time you know what hit There we go. Okay, full meter to take out this one lone elephant fucker. Let's see what we could do. Idle shot from Vash, where he just kind of like throws his gun around like a jackass. It's pretty great. You shouldn't make fun. There. Man, I just cannot get it in an angle on uh, that dude. Max and Co. doing here. We're trying to get to the um, medical freezers of this area in order to get a high-ranking nobleman some alcohol for a lot of money. A lot of money. There we go. Now I can just go buck wild. Yeah, the game so far has just been basically a character study of uh, Gun Dad and his two darling gun childs as they live the family life of, you know, practicing violence through firearms and also extorting noblemen for all they're worth. Oh yeah, and also raisins. Leon's gotta get the fuck out of there. Man, that's how we've done it. There we go. Game's a lot harder when you only have so little hero gauge. But we only have raisins, jab. What a fun fucking game. Also, Van got Vacheron got kicked in the fucking head today by Leanne. Like Leanne just straight up kicked him in the head. You came to the wrong place. We're the dregs of the dregs. You won't find a deadlier spot in all of Basel. 
I like this arena setup just because it, they're just like, ah, oh, you're gonna take cover and fight off all of these enemies, whatever will you do. Uh, I'm just gonna go this way. Later, fuckers. Bye. Running away with my tail between my legs isn't really my thing. Are you saying that was undeserved? No, it was deserved. Also, man, it was kind of fucked up. Oof. That was a long dungeon. I think there's more, unfortunately. So we'll save and we'll see what these other areas have. Let's knuckle down and do this. Uh nah. We'll do that another time. What about this? Good place to find some walking around money. Yeah, we'll save that for tomorrow, because it is pretty late. And I don't got time to be doing all those gun katas. We'll Refrigerator, last really? Yes, actually. Absolutely. I did save, so we could just call it there for today. Well, you know what? Just because I'm that fucking paranoid. We'll save here. We'll finish up Chapter 5 on Sunday, I believe. Yeah, Sunday. As we continue the adventures of Bad Dad and his gun lads. As Resonance of Fate is really weird and wonderful. <laughs>